basically I will talk about Bartini's theorem mostly. Bartini's theorem as application of Sartre's theorem. Of course, in characteristic 0. So, so recall, so but before that, let us recall that see when you under when x is a irreducible, uh, irreducible x when x is irreducible, the way you define dimension of x is some supremum of this chain, right. But x i's are irreducible in x, irreducible closed subsets. But but the problem but the thing is that one is to little bit general suppose x is not irreducible. That means you the, those things appears when, for example, if you take a point if you have a morphism a f, and you take the fiber f inverse of y. So, this fiber f inverse y may not be irreducible, it will be it can it may have intersect right. So, but you need to talk about dimension because you are after all interested in dimension uh, smoothness. So, you need to talk about dimension. So, in that case if it is not irreducible then how do you define. So, when x is not irreducible. then dimension of x you would define as maximum of dimension of x i, but x i is a reducible, x i is a reducible component right. And you can make it little bit more precise, uh, you can define dimension at a point you can make it uh, for example, you, you can make it more general like suppose x is a point in this and you can define what is dimension of x at x. This is uh, maximum of dimension of x i, uh, x passing through x i and x i is x i is a irreducible components. So, basically these are irreducible components passing through x point x and define the maximum of that that is the dimension of x at x ok. So, now so, so now if x is irreducible this all this component sides ok x is irreducible then the your format definition when x is irreducible then dimension of x equal to dimension of x at x for all x. Right, so this is not uh, difficult to see. <clears throat> okay, so this is a general some general definition. Okay, mm, so now we need this uh, definition. So, we will come to this. Hmm. Okay. Now, let us uh, um, let us come to this uh, definition that uh, mm, Okay, so the point is that that when x is not irreducible, so dimension this is always true. Dimension the tangents when you define tangent space, it does just a you don't need the x to be irreducible, right? You could define tangent space at a point. So dimension of the tangent space at a point is always greater than or equal to dimension of x at x. This is always true. 
the dimension of the tangent space at a point is always greater than or equal to the dimension even uh, if the point is a not a smooth point right if if it by it has to another two two irreducible components at least two, i mean more than one irreducible component so this is uh, what i wanted to say that is yes. so if suppose x is is uh, x is uh, irreducible or x is a variety so you know that singular point set is a closed subset so you have a open set u so this is the smooth locus the smooth locus is a open subset of x this is known right so now the point is that if you have a morphism from x to y and you you if you have a point here a y then whether if you take this point f inverse of y which is a fiber whether if I, for what point whether f inverse y is smooth or not okay so the theorem says that uh, Sard's the theorem of Sard. So this is uh, so assume characteristic k is zero. Hmm. X is uh, k is algebraically closed. Then and f is any morphism from x to y. Assume it is. Uh, the nice case that is uh, image is uh, uh, it is dominant then then there exist a u open in y hmm. so is that f inverse of y smooth for all y belongs to u and this is uh, only true for characteristic uh, 0 because the in characteristic k where characteristic p this is not true if you consider t going to t to the power p this is a counter example not true this is not smooth map sad sad theorem does not hold here but using this theorem i will come to the proof of this theorem in the next class but using this theorem what you can prove is this theorem of bartini which says that suppose x is a x is some projective variety so it is embedded in some pn hmm. then uh, for a general hyperplane h in pn general hyperplane means is given by some linear uh, linear equation right hyperplane in pn uh, linear homogeneous uh, polynomial x intersection h is smooth so this is this theorem has many application in uh, algebraic geometry and it is sometime what do you want to do that suppose you want to prove something for x then you see x intersection h is and when you intersect with the hyperplane the dimension becomes one less so it is sometimes this kind of technique now you have you know some result for smaller dimension so using bartini you can prove uh, such a result i mean so this is kind of dimension it reduces to the smaller dimension so this theorem bartini's theorem is used in reducing your dimension you need some smoothness assumption to uh, have some uh, good uh, proper whatever you want to prove so the criteria is that it has to be smooth the underlying variety so bartini says that for a, if you by intersecting with a general hyperplane 
it is smooth. So now you apply your theorem, then you try to conclude something. So this is uh, useful in that sense. Then proof is uh, proof is um, see proof is you use the Sartre's theorem. So how do you use Sartre's theorem for? So if you take consider a general hyperplane, suppose P n. P n you can think as a projectivization of V, some vector space, right? V is some n plus 1 dimensional vector space. Now, the hyperplane, how do you see? How the set of all hyperplane, they are parameterized by? So, a hyperplane is in P V star, right? Is this clear? If I take a hyperplane, hyperplane is given by some linear functions right that is a, that's a map from v to c so it's a p of but lambda of some linear polynomial and uh, for linear polynomial that gives you the same same uh, zero set so so that's why it is p of v star so so set of all hyperplanes you can think as so this is called dual hyperplane which is also pn in some sense it is, but it is a uh, projectivization of a V star. So, so this is the this uh, so P V star parameterizes. Ha, V star is the dual vector space. Parameterizes uh, dual hy uh, the hyperplanes in P n. Uh, parameterizes hyper hyperplanes so now what you are what you are interested you are interested in h in, so you take some hyperplane which is a point here so every hyperplane is a point in p of v star huh? so this uh, you are interested in the zero set of h inter intersect with x. So, what you do? You consider this set E. This is all those points x comma h such that x belongs to h. That means, you consider this x belongs to h a r and x belongs to x that means x belongs to x intersection h x is a point in x those points in x which lies in h so you consider the pairs so this is a closed subset you can check that this is a closed subset of this p of v star this is a closed condition this is a closed sub variety okay so now what do you do now you have two map, one into x and one to p v star, and these are morphism p one and p two. So okay, so now from you have this. So if you restrict this p one and p two here to this e, Now, what does it say? Now, you consider this um, the Sartre's theorem to this uh, the, this P2. So, what does the star the, then what is P2? So, that what Sartre's theorem will say? Sartre's theorem will say that there is a open subset U in P of V star such that P2 inverse of y is smooth. But what is P2 inverse of y? It is x intersection the point h, right? P2 inverse of y corresponds to the phi. What is the fiber? Fiber is nothing but x intersection h. So that means 
for a open subset for every hyperplane in U, x intersection h is uh, smooth. So, phi bar is x intersection h, right? A, if I take a point here y in U, what is P2 inverse of y? The y corresponding cor corresponds to a hyper high hyperplane h y and this is nothing but x intersection p2 inverse of y and is nothing but x intersection h y and the search theorem says that this is smooth this is inside x so this is bartini's theorem is it clear And this Bartini's theorem is very useful in the in uh, so this is so hence so hence so this is a so this is a very nice application of Schwarz theorem that for a general see general hyperplane because you need you have an open subset in P of V star say so every point in U you take the inverse image right. So, phi bar is phi bar is just subset of x right and that is smooth ok. So, now so the so only thing now is so now so, so the search theorem we need to prove uh, uh, we, we will prove in in the next class probably next lecture in the next lecture we will see a proof of we will we'll see a proof of such thing. Hmm. And uh, and now the plan is that after such theorem. I will uh, do little bit of um, next plan. Uh, after this, I plan to do some current shifts, current and quasi current shifts. Over ring space. And then uh, some then plan is to to introduce the notion of scheme. After this, introduce notion of scheme. And stop there. So we will see. Already we have seen uh, this. Why you need to do scheme theory? Because whenever you have this map x to y f, this phi bar, this phi bar is a problem. Phi bar may not be reduced. For example, if you may not be reduced means, for example, if you take something like, uh, for example, this take take this function, the um, say a two to a one. Say um, x y goes to this example. Now even a one to a, 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 a even uh, um, sorry, you take this a one to a one t going to t to the power p. Characteristic P, characteristic P, but algebraically close, not finite. <coughs> finite fields are not algebraically close. Closure. Huh? No, FP bar. Closure. They are not finite fields. Huh? 
Is it a fine, uh, algebraically closed field? Algebraically closed field of characteristic P. You take the closure of FP. Hmm? Algebraic closure. Or even you can take this example, uh, see these are, so this A2 to A1, um, XY going to Y square minus X to the power P. No, fibers are not smooth. And in some case, that see, this is a problem in characteristic P. Mostly, in the the scheme theory, you need to to understand uh, the characteristic P is the problem. In to because you don't have, it is not nice. You it's, things are uh, things can go wrong. So, that is the actually the one of the uh, reason why Grothendieck uh, he introduced schemes because to understand uh, to do geometry you need to do it more algebraically more uh, so that was his idea to introduce schemes I mean this is one of the reason to do, do geometry in characteristic P you need to bring scheme theory there just varieties are not good enough because you have all these problems reducedness many time this point because you will get mostly you will get something like v of x to the power p or something or x to the power so that is nothing but not v of x i mean zero so it is some kind of fat point i mean a point with uh, because uh, uh, the it will be something like kx mod x to the power p the corresponding so one has to so i will come to that why you need to do scheme theory and this is one of the reason that fibers they don't behave well in characteristic p yeah in this example you will see that if you take the inverse image that point is not smooth x y goes to y square minus x y if you take any point here a, uh, if you take the point A, then uh, A, the inverse image here, it will be, what is the inverse image? I think it will be something like minus A 1 by P 0. What is Y square? Y square equal Y square minus, so Y square minus X P equal to A, right? So, if I put, uh, huh? what is the 5, if you take a y square minus x square p equal to a, Yeah, that is also a point, but this is also a point, right? If you take my x to the power p, it is minus a to the power p and y square minus minus. So, it is, this is also a point. You will see that this point, the it is not smooth point. The fiber is, this is, this is in the fiber, this fire point is not a smooth point. So, all this smoothness, all this geometry of 
algebraic varieties in characteristic p if you really want to understand you need to do some skills you need to introduce schemes without schemes you cannot for example arithmetic geometry where you number theory and the algebraic geometry it uh, uh, mixes you need to bring scheme, schemes hmm. yes okay i'll stop here today